need to step it up. The belt seems attached. It's just stuff for that. What? Don't fucking play with me. Um, Alexa. Hello, my beautiful, perfect friends, and welcome back to the vlogs. It is a week something of my summer, I don't know, but it doesn't matter because I'm not doing so hot, okay? First of all, I can't stand to look at my hair right now, but basically over the past four-ish months, probably since February, I have not been feeling great in my body because of my hormones. I was on um, birth control and then I got off in January of last year. So this came, like this hormonal like shift came about a year after I got off birth control. And I think it's because my health really slipped in business school. Like obviously I'm drinking way more. I'm eating out all the time because cooking is hard. Like I wasn't sticking to my hormone like regulation stuff at all. So it basically like I was fine for a while and I functioned, but the past few cycles, it's really caught up with me to the point where like I've had, I'm sharing like this information because it might be symptoms you guys are having and that's what might help you not to like overshare, but I have had really long periods and they've been really heavy. I luckily don't have cramping or anything, thank God. And then the week before my period, I honestly feel depressed and it's very hard for me to do anything. And I had clinical depression when I was on my birth control, so I know what it feels like. And it just feels like so uncontrollable and difficult and then like, you know, during my period I'm sluggish and I've been breaking out and so I know that all of these things are because I'm not really taking care of myself. Like I'm sort of probably doing the bare minimum, like my 10, 10 to 12K steps a day, like trying to eat at home, you know, like trying to have a salad when I go out, but I'm not by any means taking care of myself in the way I was when I was like balancing my hormones and it seems like I'm getting signs from my body right now which is what's so great about being off birth control that I need to step it up. So this was going to be a vlog of me going to the south of France with my friends this weekend but I canceled the trip because I have so much I want to do and so much work and emotionally and physically I have not been great and like that's just something I want to be real about and that's sort of why or what I want to spread with my platform is like you can be a busy ambitious girl and like get everything you want but you can balance that with taking care of yourself and having a healthy lifestyle and being happy but sometimes it comes with sacrifices because I knew I would have fun in the south of France but I knew that I had some things mentally and physically I needed to balance out and then two it also comes with knowing yourself and trying to fit health and wellness into your life as opposed to like build your life around it. That being said, we're starting this vlog off with a grocery haul because I just got back from fucking Whole Foods, spent $200 because I was like at a mental rampage. And then I also have made some other health changes that I'm gonna share with you throughout the vlog. I got things to make dinner and then I also got a bunch of snacks so let me just show you. I'm on my period right now, which is why I'm so lethargic. So I got stuff, so you're supposed to have like red meat on your period. I also got pretty much organic everything I possibly could. But I'm gonna make a bolognese with like a bunch of veggies for dinner. So this is just stuff for that. Um, and then gonna use this new to me gluten-free um, brown rice pasta. And the reason I picked this up is because the book that I used to balance my hormones is called In the Flow by Elisa, Elisa Viti. And I use the app, the My Flow app. And basically, she really um, recommends that when you're like balancing your hormones, that you should be gluten free. She's not against gluten at all, but when you notice that there's an imbalance, gluten can be like inflammatory, and so that can make it harder for you. So while you're balancing until you're feeling good, like it's good to like maybe just not prioritize gluten. So that's why I got that. And then same with organic. I got everything organic because 
Things that are not organic often have these hormone disruptors in them, which are essentially like these chemicals that when they are put in the human body, they show up as, and they function like hormones, which can cause problems because then your body thinks it is an excess of those certain hormones and starts to act out. This can particularly lead to like higher estrogen in women, if I'm not mistaken. Again, not a doctor, do this research and check it, but that's why I get all, all, pretty much all organic, and that's a habit I have actually stuck to, but. Then I got some supplements. So the supplements I got are for skin, because my skin is terrible right now. I also started taking spirolactone recently. My Calm Magnesium. This is one of the best supplements for anyone. Honestly, I've been taking it for, for so long, and it's something that has really fallen out of my routine, but I know how powerful it is. And I also got this other magnesium for if I just want like a smaller dose of one that doesn't require like a whole drink but um it's like one of the best supplements for you i might link a podcast episode from the blonde files talking about it it's really good and then i also got evening primrose oil because i have my bento supplement packs that i take every day which i have not been doing consistently by the way and inside i have like pretty much all of my regular supplements but i do not have my evening primrose oil, which is something that really helped me when I was balancing my hormones. And then I got some seeds and nuts, which are really good for managing cycles, uh, your cycle symptoms. So I got these pumpkin seeds, um, sunflower seeds, because I'm going to try like seed cycling. I know people are like talked about it and been back and forth about it on social media. I don't really care. But I definitely am going to do flax seed because this helped a lot when I was first doing my hormone balancing and then Brazil nuts are also supposed to help with like cortisol so we got that then I got some bone broth because bone broth is really good for protein intake and something oh guys something I'm really bad about is eating breakfast I really don't like to eat breakfast but I love to drink a warm drink at breakfast so I think I'm gonna experiment with this bone broth over the next couple of days see if I like it and if so I'll share that with you guys because these like packs have like 10 grams of protein so if I have like this in the morning alongside some stuff then like sort of like a late breakfast I think that could be good for me then I got some raspberry um, leaf tea I've never had this before but people swear by it then for snacks and stuff so for snacks I got these at Target a couple of weeks ago and I've been obsessed ever since. They are like seaweed but they're in a better package. You know the seaweed packages that have like the little like that they're you know what I'm talking about like these you just grab and go. They do get everywhere though but they're so good and seaweed is also very recommended on your period. And then I got some Lily's chocolate and stuff because this is so delicious and it is like has low sugar like no sugar added as well as um like it tastes amazing and it's like more organic obviously lilies and no gmos and stuff like that i think it's certified or fair trade cvs whatever, whatever so i guess it isn't organic whatever but i love it because i guess i tell you guys this every time i show you a grocery haul but like i'm not a big sweets girl but i like to have some sweet you know what I'm saying? So I like to have those in the house just for fun. But that's what I picked up. I'm going to make dinner now. Um, it's a classic bolognese recipe that I've made for a very long time. It's super easy because I'm pretty lazy. And then I am going to probably take a long bath tonight because I've just not felt this like disconnected and physically like drained in a long time. Um, and then get back at you know, getting stuff done tomorrow. We have a fun brunch tomorrow. Then I'm gonna get acupuncture and I have, and that's all actually, because we need to chill out. Six, I was like, oh, perfect. And then I like fell back to sleep and I woke up at nine. What? 
I think it's because my body is just really exhausted right now during my cycle, which makes total sense. So, with that being said, I just sort of embraced it. Usually I would beat myself up for that, and then I was like, okay, this is clearly what my body needed. Can't change it, so let's just make the most of our day. So, I'm taking it slow. I have, I had the, a lot of things I wanted to do today, but I wrote down the three main things I have to do, and I'm just going to do those before we go to the brunch today. So I'm having breakfast right now. I went on a little walk earlier, but I'm having kale, onion, and eggs, and uh, I'm having kale because it has a lot of iron, which helps support you with your cycle. Now, you guys know I don't really like to eat breakfast, but I'm trying to get into the habit of it because I know it's what's good for me even though I fucking hate it, so whatever. And then I also have my seeds. So I've told you guys I'm trying seed cycling. I'll let you know how it goes. This is flax seeds and pumpkin seeds, and I think I'm just gonna like try and have these throughout the day. I'm gonna have my supplements, my bento supplements, and then my Alice mushroom chocolates that I'm having today. So it's a big wellness lunch, or breakfast, whatever. Here we go. Time to eat. Now I'm gonna watch a something on YouTube while I get started with emails and DMs. Tattoo. So I figured I'd wear this. I actually love this, especially for summer with whites. So I'm really excited. And then I am throwing on five minutes away. How fucking no. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. Okay. But I did my face. 
I did my hair, I tried to slick back my fucking heat damage. It's a never-ending process, me and this heat damage, but I'm so excited. I'm wearing my Jeffrey Campbell little heels. I wear these everywhere. I'm already a pretty tall girl, and I don't really walk in a lot of heels. I'm like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, five, and I say 5'8", like, because I like, wish I was 5'8", but like, I've always been 5'7", but hopefully, like, why is it five minutes away? That's not going to fucking work. It's not. It really isn't. But it's... A fucking Uber driver to, to, to drivers to wait times too long. You don't have to make that one cut to cancel it. Find me another driver. Come on now. Y'all can't play with me. It's already 2 o'clock. I should have called Uber earlier. This is how it always happens. I'm like, oh, the driver's going to be here in one minute and I'm not ready, so I shouldn't call it. But then, of course, the driver gets there on time and then it's like, I'm ready and I should have called it. It's like there's actually no in between. It never works out perfectly. Wait, this is kind of a lot of string. I like it. Okay, now he's two minutes. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Don't play with me like that. See, this is this is the problem. This is why I struggle in dating because that's exactly how I sound all the time. Don't fucking play with me, um, Alexis. Calm down. All right. Talk to you guys later. Oh, I used YSL, Daisy Y, and YSL. Just because you love YSL, not everything's YSL. I used Marc Jacobs Daisy Wild today. It's really delicious for spring, summer. Can't believe it's summer. And time to go. balancing my hormones and now I need it again because I'm not well. But I had a drink at lunch and I'm scared that it's actually going to kill me. to it because I have to do this in my 20s because your metabolism slows down in your 30s and you start to lose muscle. I, okay. Anyway, as you can tell, I've been spiraling. But the new samples for the satin robes have just arrived in new colors and I wanted to show you um, my process. In about 30 minutes, I have a call with my manufacturers and I'm going to give them live feedback. So yeah, but I'm also going to film this for TikTok for the You Are My Supervisor series, so let me get that angle right, okay? Multitasking. Ah. All right, we've got three colors here. Ah, so this is the black that you guys already saw. Love her. Oh, they added a double lining in here now. Interesting. Interesting, they lengthen the sleeves for sure. Then we have a cream. Oh, I love the cream. I love the cream, but I just put a poll on my story and people were saying they didn't really like the white. So, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, the belt seems attached, but it seems like I don't like it, needs to be reinforced one or two more times. For example, like that right there, don't love it. No. And then we got a pink! So, kind of love this. Yeah. Okay, let's try them on! Alright. The pink is super fun and flirty. Love that. But then you know how robes you have to tie, like, right here. 
I don't love that. I want that to be a button, you know? Um, or let me know what you think there. And then, gotta tie it twice. Okay, yeah, so I really like this. It's just slight tweaks that need to be made. I think the sleeve length is better now. And we will try this out. I don't know if this is as effective on here. So maybe I'll show you guys this and then I'll just film while I'm on my call with my manufacturer so you can hear how I give the feedback because yeah, but I really like the fit and the color. I really love, so yay. Okay, about to join this call and I'll show you guys what I do. But they changed the sleeve and I think it's a really good hit now. Okay, cool. You like where it's like, Yeah. I mean, obviously okay. I have longer arms, so if someone's shorter, then it'll be a little longer, which is what brought me to my next point of, I'm noticing that this system mm -hmm. that we've used on the other ropes, I don't know if it's as effective on this one, because it just sort of hangs down, if you can see mm -hmm. that. So I'm not sure what might, what could be a fix for that, or if we could just like leave it and make this just sort of like a rope, like take it all out all together. This is also like fine, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. not like the best looking thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, and then I noticed that the belt in the back, we just did like, there's sort of just one stitch mm -hmm. right there. And I don't, I just don't know that it, it doesn't really look very quality and I feel like it does, it's not reinforced very well. Yeah, I agree. I think it looks really good. I'm a fan and like the button matches perfectly, which is great. So those are, that's all my feedback I think for now. Good morning team. Alrighty. It is Tuesday and health and wellness update. I've been going, things have been going well. I did sign up for class pass and I was going to go to some classes, but I just get a little bit of anxiety with that type of thing. And I ended up canceling both of them and just been doing my form Pilates at home. Today I am so sore from the workout I did yesterday. And that's why I love form is that it's a 20 minute workout, but they're very effective. Like I feel it in my body. So yeah, it's 10 o'clock and it is a content day. So the way I'm going to start my day today is I'm going to go on a long walk and then I'm going to come back, probably work out, take a shower, like get my hair done. And then from like 12 to five or six, just pump out content. So I've got two podcast recordings that I want to do. And then I have a bunch of short form content I want to make. So that's what we're doing today. I, oh, my body's so sore. Um, but yeah, that's the tea. Before I leave to get my coffee and stuff, I'm gonna take a shot of this. I got these, like, a bunch of these pressed immunity shots. Um, and I'm gonna take one of these and then I'm gonna go get a coffee. I've been really trying to do coffee at least an hour after waking up because according to Andrew Huberman and all those fucking, you know them, the health people, they're like, you need to drink coffee 90 minutes after waking up because it's supposed to help with your afternoon slump because of the chemicals that are released in your body when you wake up. Basically, caffeine's not as effective if you, don't, if you drink it immediately. So, but then again, I'm a zombie for the first hour and a half and it's like, we just wasted time. So anyway, new habits. Old habits die hard, let's say that, because I have a headache and I need caffeine. Delicioso. Orange, vitamin C, turmeric, zinc, ginger, lemon, cultures, period. See, starting my day with something like this, I feel so successful. I'm so successful. Okay, let's fucking go. walk and I'm about to go downstairs and work out but I walked into this big ass fly in my fucking apartment and I'm so 
annoyed by it because there's been a lot of like fruit flies and stuff in my place and I've never seen a fly that big and it's making me nervous because like what's going on like I never open my windows I know it's because like the trash room is near my apartment so I'm like maybe it's that maybe it's because like they leave the window in the hallway open but like I'm gonna talk to my building about it because like I can't fucking do this anymore anyway I got two little packages I want to open and then I also went to Sephora for a little mental health Sephora trip. So I wanted to show you what I got. Let's start with whatever my packages are. First up, oh, I got this shirt from Etsy that says Good Karma. I just kind of wanted like something to throw on over bike shorts. It's an extra large, it's cute. I saw it on Pinterest. So long story, but I don't know if you guys have seen the show The Millionaire Matchmaker, but I have never seen it before. But the host of it was on Watch What Happens Live one night when I was watching Bravo. And um, she's an, obviously a millionaire matchmaker and she makes these pheromones. And my friends like love pheromones, but I've never done it before. So I ordered a The Lovers pheromone, matchmaker red diamond pheromones. Listen, pheromones are supposed to like make men smell you and fall in love with you. Is that what I need right now? No, but I want to do it anyway. Anyway, um, I got these and I'm so excited. Patty Stanger, Millionaire Matchmaker. And then from Sephora, let's get started. I got brush cleaner because all my brushes are so dirty right now. It's disgusting. Some Nutrafol refills because I want to keep growing my hair. And I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job with my hair wellness, but I just wanted to do this just, just to be safe. Then I got, I went in there originally because I wanted to get a darker shade of my foundation because I feel like my, I'm really tan and my Syracuse from NARS isn't really doing it. So I got the NARS light reflecting in shade medium deep 2.6 Quaheen. Um, I am on NARS's PR list and I'm pretty sure they're about to send this to me, but I got it anyway because I need it because I feel like I look washed out in all my pictures. Then I got um, some Tower 28 bacterial spray because after my workouts, like when I come in here, I want to like eat and stuff, but I don't want to be like sweaty and like get and like break out. So I got some of this just so that I can like kill, it's supposed to like kill all the bacteria on your face, just like a good like facial rescue spray. So I really like that. And then I got a mini Kosas under eye concealer. It's like my favorite formula, honestly. And then I got this Skin Fix Barrier Plus. Oh no, I meant to get the cleanser, not the Barrier Plus serum. I mean, I like wanted the serum, honestly, and I wasn't sure about the cleanser, so I guess I picked up the wrong one, but still, I guess I'll probably like this. And then I got, I asked like what they would recommend for like eczema, and she was like, this is 100% squalene or squalene oil from Biosense and you can put it on your body, your face, and your hair. And what she did was, it's just an oil and it comes in like this little pump. I really love this brand, Biosense. This is what I use for my daily face wash. She put it in her hands and then she sprayed one spray of like your favorite perfume and then rub it all over your skin. And my skin still feels soft. This was like an hour ago. And you can still smell the fragrance on it. So I'm totally taking that trick. It's amazing. And yeah, that's all I got from Sephora. And then now I am gonna go downstairs and work out before I sit down because if I sit down, I probably won't do it and come up here and get on with the rest of my day. Good freaking morning. It's Wednesday. Love this. Um, I started doing my skincare routine before I could show you, but I woke up at, at like seven. I've been telling you guys, I just, I struggle with the early wake ups and I think it's cause I woke up like at 5 a.m. probably half the time during the school year and now I'm like, but I wanna sleep. So I'm up and I'm super sore from working out consistently. I, my body gets really, really sore for some reason. I don't know why, but I don't fucking like it, okay? 
Anyway, I started my skincare routine. I did buy I do Bioderma just to like do a light cleanse with a cotton round. And then I put on the new serum I got yesterday, the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Lipid and Collagen Activating System. The little like before and afters that they had at the Sephora thing were really impressive, so I'm happy I got that. Now it's the question of the day, what moisturizer are we gonna use? What moisturizer? I'll show you our contenders. We've got all the moisturizers over here. Who's gonna win? Um, in the morning, I like to do the gel cream. I do, I do. I've been reaching for Miss Clinique Moisture Surge. This is a cult classic um, for a while now. So that's what we're gonna do. Later today, I'm going to see my friends. My college roommate, her birthday is Juneteenth. Today's Juneteenth. So I'm going to go see her and hang. Um, and then this morning is a big, like, content day. Because I knew I was going to put on makeup to go see people today. That I was like, okay, period. If I'm going to do that, then I should film today too. Instead of yesterday when I was like in a really good flow. Sometimes I don't share with you guys. Hold on. Today we're also going to do this new Clarins. Better. Which one of these said, hey girl, we also have pollution protection. Is it this one? UV plus anti-pollution. There is an air quality alert in New York today. Every day we suffer. Anyway, two fingers. We're up. Now, I will say, like with my skincare routine and stuff, I feel like I have a very unique perspective where I have a lot of products because I get sent a lot of products. And I also really like to shop, and luckily for me, that's part of my job. But you don't need all of the products that I recommend. It's just like if you happen to be looking for one, is that a white cast in 2024? No, okay, it's not. I just didn't rub it in. Ooh, girl, I was gonna lose it. Anyway, but if you happen to be looking for one, if I really grieve about one, then like, just know everything that works, works, and you don't need everything. Anyway, why do I always look terrible? Hold on, let's talk nicely about ourselves. Okay, I'm gonna do a slick back and then we'll get ready. It's like in the summer, like my slick backs just don't really slick. I think also because I got layers in the front, like I'm like slicking back real hair. It's like not cute, but what can you do? This is good enough for a walk in the city, you know? Okay hey guys, I'm sitting at my desk today because before I start shooting content, I'm gonna need to write out exactly what I need to do and in what order so that I can maximize the few hours that I have to do this. So I need to shoot two podcast episodes, which is like sitting and talking. And then in addition to that, I'm gonna do a bunch of like short form content. And then since I'm doing my makeup, I wanna film doing my makeup, but I want to film like something that will work for TikTok and then something that will also work for Instagram Reels. And then I also want to like just batch a bunch of content because something I've recognized within myself and then I'm going to talk about in today's podcast episode is that my cycle really, really impacts my ability to show up. Um, like my luteal phase and like that week or so before my period, I like genuinely, it's really hard for me to do basic things at that week. And so uh, since I know that, I want to create content that I can draft and have ready to go during that week so that I don't end up being inconsistent because I can't post because I get too overwhelmed. So I really wanna do that right now, now that I've noticed that because it's only really been the last three or four cycles that I've like, noticed how big of a problem that is and that's why I'm working hard on like my hormonal health and stuff right now but that's sort of my intention today so instead of just like batching the content for the week I'm trying to like make as much content as I can when I'm feeling good about it and when I have time instead of like you know suffering later on so that's what I'm gonna do now yeah y'all I got distracted because I was trying to do my freaking hair 
Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard to do your hair? I like hate it. Like I miss braids. Like but when I had braids in, I was like I'm tired of the braids, but I'm like but like for me to get those braids, it's like $500 and it's like I just like need to like not spend money like that right now. But god damn it. I just feel like everything I do it looks terrible. It looks terrible. And I don't know what to do. Having a breakdown about my hair before I even started filming. Fuck! Jesus. Story of my fucking life. Why am I like this? Why is my hair like this? And must it be like everywhere? I don't know. I don't know. I just can't. I'm like having a moment. And I always do my ponytails fucking lopsided. But I have an uneven hairline, so who even knows if it's lopsided? And I want this part to be parting. And it's not parting the way I want it to. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again. That's better. That's better. That's better. That's better. Okay, that's all I can do. So I just laid out all my makeup. I'm gonna do a get ready with me TikTok and Instagram reel and then start filming my podcast episodes. And they started construction in the unit above me while right when I was like ready to film. Every day I suffer. I genuinely do, like I can't. And of course it stopped right when I filmed this, like, ugh. Here was today's little setup. I finished filming pod episodes and now I'm going to Send everything over to get edited and get ready and go out for Juneteenth. So I guess I'll include that in the next vlog. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. This has been such a fun, so fun to be vlogging again. I feel like a person again. But make sure if you, oh, can we not do that? Cool. If you haven't already, make sure you're checking out Too Smart for this podcast, giving all my updates, thoughts, etc. on there. And follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you want more everyday content. Love you the most. And subscribe for more. You're too smart to not love yourself. Bye.